All right, so this is a quick example of the AR app. You boot it up on your phone. It loads up real quick. It wants to know if you uh, want to give it access to where you, you know, wherever you are. Anyway, I'm scanning the front. This is just the front page of the book, and this should unlock all of uh, a description of all the features. So once you do it, um, it wants you to sign up to use what this uh, content it has because access to the content is limited to registered users. So fill this thing out and boom, there you go. It just takes you to a simple PDF that shows you all the AR features in the book. So I look, I scanned it again and boom, again, it should bring me up. There it is, the PDF of the AR features. So that was just one of the simple methods, one of the simple codes that you can scan in the book that gives you access to these, you know, this first one is just the total AR features that you, you find in the book. Okay, let's try another one. So this one should take us to a calculator for conversion and boom. So it just takes you to Google, looks like, for a unit converter. So. Um, you know, pretty basic. You could probably do this on a computer or use it on your own phone, but yeah, you go find the code and it takes you to a link somewhere. So let's look at this one. This is for searching terms. Um, and it takes you to the school of PE. You can search an index of terms and get an answer here. So let's see if we actually can find something type in, well, I don't know what I'm typing in, AOA. No, we don't wanna, we don't wanna do that. Oh, there you go, AOA, activity on arrow. So it tells you the page number, 22 to 24, and that's what it does. Here's another code we scan. This should be something to do with videos. Let's check it out. And what does it do? It takes us to School of PE, it's not searching for the right thing. Uh, or it's not taking us to the right place. Try it again. The videos. Let's try Chrome. Previous was DuckDuckGo, that didn't work. So we're gonna try Chrome. And boom, so it takes you to School of PE's website and uh, get you access to other lecture videos that you can purchase. So basically it takes you to a, uh, a bit of a checkout card it looks like for the area that you are interested in studying about. So um, not bad. So it, you know these total AR things, you know they're nice but you could search all this stuff on the internet if you wanted to. Probably easier that way but I guess if you have your phone with you um, you know, it's a quick way to dive into that. All right, let's try another one. This is to uh, meet the author. So chapter five is uh, hydraulics and hydrology. And you click on that and we should be able to play a video. But every time I hit play, it would not play. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, maybe the bugs are still being worked out on this one. Maybe I got the wrong author I checked out. I don't know, but I can see every time I hit play on this to play meet the author, it just it wouldn't work. So, try again, hit play, not coming up for me. So I know the book is relatively new, maybe the AR, maybe Maybe I have a bad internet connection. I shouldn't. Um, let's try a different code. Immediately found that one. Let's open it up with Chrome again. And this is a quiz. So, so you just fill out your information here and email address, first name, last name again. Hit continue and boom, you get assessment in the area you just finished. So this was at the end of a chapter. They give you 60 minutes. You go through questions for structural mechanics here. Uh, pretty cool that they give this to you. So here's some, uh, you know, just a quick example of the question that they're asking you. You go select something. I'm not gonna solve this just to give you 
you know, and you can keep going through the exam. So that's just a little example of the quizzes. I think these are nice because this is an added bonus for you to practice what you just studied and to get more problems under your belt. So I think this is a an awesome feature that they added is definitely these these quizzes at the end of each chapter to help you um, help you study for. So lots of cool problems. Um, you can do it right from your phone and just kind of a real enjoyable experience there. Anyway, you bowl through those, you get, you know, you get your answers and there you go. All right, let's take another look. Let's try another code. Um, so just thumb through the book. Looks like we hit a new chapter. So I'm just going to try to scan this again, see if we can meet that author. And there you go. So service is not available. There, try it again. Oh, video came up. Hit play. Loading. What's going to happen? Do we get it to play? Come on, let's meet the author. Author introduces each chapter in each book. So maybe this is just the problem I had, but you can see that, um, you know, meeting the author gave me, I think, some problems on this. So that was kind of the only kicker. All the other AO codes, I think, worked for me, but you get the idea. All right, I just fast forwarded a few days, so I wanted to try this again scan the AR code to meet the author and this time everything seems to be working. I did try out different chapters but you can see we meet the author here and he introduces himself. And I've muted the audio but um, it's kind of cool you know you get to meet the authors, their backgrounds um, and things of that nature and so I, I tried a couple of the author, meet the authors at the beginning as they introduced the chapters and this time they did work and again, this is a few days uh, later, so I don't know if I just had problems that first day or what, but it seems like maybe they've worked things out, uh, or maybe I just had problems that first day. So I tried a few chapters, it was kind of cool, meet uh, a couple of the authors, and um, that was kind of fun. So I think that's a really good feature to meet, meet the authors. A lot of times you don't put names with uh, faces, so. Like I said here, we tried a third one. This is Geo again, and boom. So we get to meet Nicholas, and you get to hear his introduction to things and his background. I really like that feature. I think that's really nice to put a name with a face on who wrote the chapter and, and the book and kind of their background on things. So uh, with that, I scanned a couple other AR codes that I hadn't uh, shown you before as I thumbed through things. Um, also, I'll try to find one here that we haven't checked out. Here's one for flashcards, so let's just take a quick look at that one. And what does this do? Boom. So this is for terms for flashcards. So you can look at a term, you can flip it, and check out what the meaning of that term is. So pretty cool. All right, jumping back, let's look at this one. So this is probably a definition of some sort. I forgot what the symbols mean, but no, this is to provide feedback. So you scan that, it takes you to the school PE place uh, website, and you can provide feedback by filling that out. That's cool. Let's look at this question one. We've already reviewed this one, I believe, but yeah, so you choose a browser, make sure it's Chrome, and it will take you to the website for school PE, and boom, if you have specific project planning questions, or you want to meet the expert or whatnot, you can get additional video lectures, ask the expert if you want, and you can get right now, it looks like a subscription to that uh, for cheap. And so yeah, just additional services for you. Pretty cool. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap this little review up of checking out the total AR codes found in School of PE's uh, breadth review book manual that they have. Uh, they will be coming out with depth ones in the future. But let me know what you think. What do you think about these AR codes? Is this something you value or don't value, let me know. I'd, I'd be interested here. Shoot me an email, Isaac at Civil Engineering Academy, or leave a comment. We'd love to hear about it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We will see you in the next one. Bye.